Hey guys, Sigmund from Insanely OS here, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 6.0.1 on the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. So guys, first off, we're going to need to head over into insanelyos.com, and if you aren't already on iOS 6.0.1, head over onto the firmware section, and we're going to need to get iOS 6.0.1. And even if you are already on iOS 6.0.1, we're going to need to download the iOS 6.0 firmware to jailbreak your device and I'm going to show you how this works later when we're in the jailbreaking process. So just find your firmware and click download. And also download the 6.0 firmware. That is crucial. So if you're already on iOS 6.0.1 you're still going to have to download this. At least until Red Snow is updated with iOS 6.0.1 support but there is a workaround and we have to use iOS 6 right there. And also while you're at it head over into the jailbreak section. And we're going to need to download the latest version of Red Snow which is 0.9.15 beta free. And of course if you're on a Mac you can click the Mac option there. Now while that's downloading let's make good use of our time and upgrade to iOS 6.0.1 if you haven't already. So just hold the shift key down on your keyboard and hit restore. And just pick the iOS 6.0.1 firmware and it will restore right away. Now this does take a while to update, so it is a great idea to download the iOS 6.0.1 firmware first, and then the iOS 6.0 firmware while this is updating. Okay, now that's done, we can head over into Redstone and start the jailbreaking process. So, just put everything in your desktop, that's the firmware files, the iOS 6.0.1 firmware, and the iOS 6.0 firmware, and the Redstone 0.9.15 beta 3. And if, the, of course, there are a newer version of Red Snow, you can use that. And same for the firmware files. So go into the Red Snow folder. And we'll go into the properties, and we're going to need to run it as administrator. And have it in Windows XP Service Pack Free Compatibility Mode. Just make sure these are checked. Hit OK. Double click this. And now we're in Red Snow. Just make sure your device is plugged in. Now we're going to need to go into Extras and select your iOS 6.0 IPSW. Just hit that. Go into your desktop and select the iOS 6.0 firmware. And it's been identified. And go into jailbreak. And just make sure install CD is checked here and you can enable battery percentage if you want. Hit next. So now we need to put your device into DFU mode. And if you don't know how to put into DFE mode, I'm going to give you a little tutorial. And if you need extra help, there is a link in the description below. So all you have to do is just hold the power button for 3 seconds. 1, 2, 3. And hold the home button down at the same time as the power button. Keep holding these down until the screen flashes. Wait 3 seconds. Release the power button. And wait for Redstone to recognize it. And there we go, it's been recognized. It's exploding off line and it's going through the jailbreaking process. Now this does take quite a while, so I will fast forward through this. And Red Snow is finished the process on your computer and the rest will happen on your device. Now just wait a bit longer and of course remember this does take a lot longer in real life so you will have to wait a bit. So just sit back and relax until the jailbreaking process is complete. And now it's rebooting. And here we go. Now, if you open up your device, just wait for it to, yeah, there we go. Open up your device. You can notice that Cydia isn't on your device yet, or you may see a white icon, or you may see Cydia, but if you go into it, it crashes. So what we have to do is go back into Red Snow and go into Extras, select the IPSW again of the iOS 6.0 firmware. There we go. And we need to boot tethered. So make sure your device is plugged in again. 
and put it in DFU mode. My device was already in DFU mode, so there you go. And it's going away. And now it's waiting for the reboot. And if you are having trouble putting your device in DFU mode, there is a link in the description below to a tutorial that will help you out. And this pineapple logo will be here for a while, just wait for that to finish. And you will have Cydia on your device. And the process is finished on your computer, you can go ahead and exit Red Snow if you want to. And there you go, the rest of the process happens on your device. And there we go, it's just booted up a tethered boot. Now we can unlock your device. Just a bit laggy here for me, don't worry about that. And go over and you can see Cydia on your device. We can go in, hit user, and there we go, we are jailbroken on iOS 6.0.1 on the iPod Touch 4G. And this is a tethered jailbreak for now at least, and it only works on the iPod Touch 4G, iPhone 4, and the iPhone 3GS for now. It should be updated in the relative future with support for devices like the iPad Mini and other firmwares. And if we scroll down, you can see that it is on iOS 6.0.1. So I hope you guys like this video, and if you want any more on tweaks, themes, or just about anything to do with jailbreaking, just hit that subscribe button above. And remember, I do make new jailbreak tutorials as soon as they are released, so that's another reason to hit that inviting yellow well, not really yellow, but the subscribe button up above. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Anyway, that's all. Remember to check out my channel for everything iOS. Subscribe to be notified of more videos on jailbreaks, tweaks, tips, and reviews. Add to your favorites if you love the video, and hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment telling me what you think. I read all of them. Like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for fast updates. And of course, remember to check out insanelyos.com for iOS news, guides, and downloads. All links are below. Thank you. This is Sigmund from Insanely OS. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>